Welcome to our fourth home video during this time of isolating at home. And we hope to give a lesson each week that perhaps you can carry with you. So today, I wanted to share that 31 years ago, our family went through the earthquake and we lost everything. Our home was completely, totally destroyed, but we lived. And there were no cell phones at that time, and all the phone communication went down. So my parents, uh, 3,000 miles away, didn't know if we were alive. And three days after the earthquake, they were finally able to get through. And when I heard my mother's voice, I just broke down crying. And I told her about all the things that were lost. And she said, but you're alive. I said, yes, I'm alive, Barry's alive, our two little girls are alive, and we had, our son was only five months old. And she said, you have everything you need to get through this. You've lost so much, but you have everything you need to get through this. And it's true, we're all going to get through this. And it's really hard at times. We're all having to give up things that are very precious to us. So one of the things, this is our grandchildren. We cannot see them. And they live right in Santa Cruz. And that's really hard. I mean, we see them on FaceTime, but it's just not the same. Um, and also this month we had to cancel two workshops in our home which are very, very, very dear to us. But you know, we're all receiving a gift from this crisis. And it's not an outward gift, it's an inward gift. It's a gift in our hearts. And perhaps we don't recognize it yet, but it's there. And when this is all over and we look back, we will realize that we have grown in a very beautiful way. And right now, we have everything we need, and you do too, to get through this. Uh, thank you, yes. Ah, well, um, I'm also thinking of how, just how much we love all of you. And you know, so many of you we've been with, and we've touched hearts, and we've hugged, and it's so special. Um, yeah, what Joy said, you know, that there's so many gifts. Um, I do want to remind everybody, I actually, this would probably be a good bumper sticker. You know, it would say, um, physical distance, social connection. You got that? Because so often it's confused. Um, I was in Costco a couple of days ago, and people are actually getting really scared of each other. You know, it's, it's, it's hard to see. You know, we're so concerned about, am I gonna, is that person contagious or that person? That, you know, the people walking by me at Costco, they're like, you know, like scared, you know? And, and I mean, I, you know, I'm not gonna hug people, but I, I, wanted, I wanted to say hello and I wanna wave to people. How are you doing? Keeping my distance, but keeping connected. And that's, that's the challenge, really, the big challenge, you know, to stay really connected. Um, I also want to, before I, I, I wanted to sing a song that I wrote a long time ago, um, but I wa want to remind people to do, uh, to do something for your soul every day, you know, to do like, uh, whether it's creative, you know, use this time, you know, not just um, to take care of yourself physically, but also emotionally and spiritually. You know, meditate, you know, sing. You know, Joyce and I are actually working on a new book. It's being creative. Anything creative is good, as well as connecting with other people, you know, from the heart. And that's the first line of this song is, um, in these hearts we join together. 
And we have to remember that we're always able to connect and join. So would you do the honors hold this? Yes. Okay. <laughs> These hearts we join together In these hearts we know the truth In these hearts we love forever In these hearts we're all made new In these hearts in these hearts, in these hearts, we're like the sun. In these hearts, in these hearts, in these hearts, we all are one. In these hearts, we join together. In these hearts, we know the truth. In these hearts, we love forever. In these hearts, we're all made new. So, <clears throat> we are here in our home and we are loving you and praying for you and praying for all of us. And remember, we're all receiving beautiful gifts from this time. All right. Bye for this week. We love you.